Now people ask me, hey Titan, how do you get your speeds and feeds? And uh, the honest truth is from experience. From my experience cutting, always pushing the limits and keeping track of my MRR, my material removal rate and minutes in cut for this tool. You know, another thing that I'll say beyond our experience, I actually utilize other people's experience because I actually call Canamento. I talk to the tool guys. I talk to the reps. I talk to the designers and I pick their heads and I ask what tests they have done and I document what they say. They're the inventor of the tool. So I'm going to use what they say as a baseline and then I'm going to see how I can improve it. Machining is an art. We constantly have to figure out how we can get this tool to take off more material consistently and for a long period of time so that we can actually make good money. So we have a million videos out there. You guys have seen them dropping over the months and years where we're basically taking tools, going full depth, small radial, and we're going at incredible speeds and feeds. We're showing tools like this guy, the Harvey 3, with a long flute dropping down in titanium, four times diameter, 8% step over, killing it at 400 to 550 surface foot, which is unheard of in titanium, but it's because of the style, it's because of the approach. All right, we have other videos where we're in Hastelloy and Monel, not just 400, but K500 also. We're in A286, we're in Inconel, and we're throwing out crazy speeds and feeds. Back in the day, people would look at me and they'd be like, oh, Titan's roughing aluminum at 800 inches per minute. He's gonna break the machine, he's gonna break the spindle, he's gonna break the tool, but guess what? we're still here the machines are still good and this is what we've been doing for over a decade machining for crazy aerospace companies right and the companies they're not saying hey titan you're gonna break tools they're saying hey we love this quote because you are half price you're 60 percent of what other people are charging and the truth is i can only do that because of the types of tools that i'm running right and the techniques that we're using to take the material off quick time is money all right, so when you look at the surface foot and you look at the chip loads, you can bank that information and you can use it in your shop. But you gotta make sure that you use the same tool and you gotta make sure that you're using the same technique to produce the same results. Now, all of that information is banked and documented. So all my programmers use the same data or greater but never less, right? Because we have a standard in place for Inconel and Monel. And the cool thing is we're giving you guys that standard. Every time you watch these videos where we're cutting materials, look at the surface foot, look at the chip load, look at the depth of cut, look at the material, look at all of it and bank that information so you can grab it when doing quotes for crazy aerospace companies and you can win that bid so you can actually bring that money in, make payroll, put food on your table, and that is what manufacturing is about, all right? So keep watching the videos. You guys have a great day. I'm out. Boom.